What's up guys, it's Sam back with another episode of Tuesday Tea and boy do I have a lot of tea to spill. On Chicken Girls, Claire was really hustling on this group project with Harmony. Too bad Harmony's trying to stall to help Belle with her eggy situation. Hey! <laughs> Good to see you guys. Hey, hey. geraniums, come in, come in. Nice you. Can I get you any drinks? Egg, Bell? Iced tea. Thanks. I'm saying. They even like the same drinks? <laughs> Cute. Doesn't everyone like iced tea? So, Belle, Eggie tells me you're on the dance team this year. Captain, actually. Captain Egg, you didn't tell me that. Eggie doesn't really pay attention. Am I supposed to? Mark's the same way. Me? There they go again, giving us grief. Reminds me of junior year. <laughs> now, now, I'm just glad things are working out with you two kids. You and me both, Jenny. <laughs> Mom! And now I see why. Belle and Eggie's parents are obsessed with Twilight and getting their kids together. No wonder Belle's tripping out trying to win Eggie over. Layla was dealing with some friend problems of her own, and that's when Astrid stepped in. Astrid's no stranger to friend problems, and the perfect person to offer up some advice. Friend problems? How do you know? Let's just say I've had my fair share. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's them who need to come around or if it's me. All I can say is everything's always better with an oh mama omelet. <laughs> but if you ever need anyone to talk to, I'm Astrid. I'm Layla, and thanks. Meanwhile, Claire and Harmony were rushing to get their English project done, but with Claire more focused on seeing Eggy, they had some problems. If we just get through these next two questions, we'll basically be done. Done? Done. And I can go see Eggy. Oh, shoot! Um, my cousin, uh, Astrid, just texted me that she needs a new shirt because she spilled coffee on it. Right now? Can't she work with a stained shirt? No, Junior's is demanding it. But this project... We can finish it there. I'll get you, like, a tea. Looks like Belle and Eggie were having problems of their own, though. You do used to love the chowder bake. You love the chowder bake. I don't even like chowder. Thanks for having me, Mr. and Mrs. Bosker, but I'm gonna go skate with my friends. Hey, now just a minute. Let him go, let him go. Why doesn't Bill go talk to him? Yeah, go talk to him, honey. Okay. Their parents are totally over the top. It's no wonder why Eggie got up and stormed out. Apparently, he's not the only one fed up. Claire's over Harmony stalling, and honestly, I don't blame her. Her timing couldn't have been worse, though. If you don't want to be my boyfriend because of our parents, I get it. I just wish you would have given me a chance. It's me. What do you mean? I mean, I don't like the chowder bake either. But if you gave me a chance... I just don't want to feel like my whole life is planned out already. Me neither. Maybe we can go in there and tell them that we're going to skip the chowder bake this year and get some pizza or even watch a movie. Pizza? <laughs> Ouch. Back at Junior's, Layla and Harmony had a cute friendship moment. Harmony even gave Layla a Chicken Girls bracelet. Relationships appear to be a running theme this week. On the Chicken Girls dog, the cast talked about new crushes and favorite ships. Secret! Yeah, but we do funny. have mics yeah. on. We do have do mics. It. It's all right. Video. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I knew Haley. I knew of Aiden because of Corinne. Um, because me, Haley, and Corinne in a girl group. That's pretty much it. Everyone else just meeting them, getting to know them. Um, I knew everybody in the cast before I actually started filming season one. So when we were all on like first day, it was felt like home. Meanwhile, Coco Quinn taught us how to tie-dye in her episode of Study Hall. And dang, her outfits came out pretty nice. I'm just gonna shake it for like couple seconds, and then we'll be good to tie-dye. Oh, oh, I think it's like splattering everywhere. That's why you have to hold the top. So these are like three of my favorite colors, which is like cotton candy. So pink, blue, and purple. And if you guys can comment, comment down below what your guys' favorite colors are, and if you've ever tie-dyed before. I definitely have, and it was really, it was a lot of fun. And I also made one for my dog, and I think he likes it. I don't know. <laughs> 
But yeah, it was a lot of fun. So there's like different designs that you can do for tie-dye. So I'm gonna try the rose one. So you just like twist it into like a little rose shape. And my hands are getting all over the shirt, but it's okay. Thanks for watching this week's Tuesday Tea. I'll see you next week.